good day, dear listeners, dear parents, and dear learners from Grade 6 English. This is your teacher on the air, Teacher Flores Mita Aranyeses from Ligia Elementary School, checking in for the next 30 minutes of radio-based instruction or school on the air for Grade 6 English. For those listening at home doing some household chores, all you have to do is increase the volume of your radio for we are now about to start our lesson for the day. And to our grade 6 English learners, find a comfortable place for you to stay. Good day grade 6 English. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Did you take your breakfast or snacks? Good! So that you will be alert and be able to understand our lesson for today. This time, get your module in English for our lesson on identifying real or make-believe, fact or non-fact images. I repeat, our lesson for today is to identify real or make-believe, fact or non-fact images. Okay, get your modules. Don't forget your paper and ball pens too. Do you have your modules with you now? Before we proceed to our new lesson, let me ask you some questions. Have you ever seen a flying horse? Yes, there's no such thing as a flying horse in real life. How about a talking dog? Yes, there's no such thing like a talking dog. This only happens in the fantasy movies you are watching. How about a dancing lady? Have you seen one? Yes, me too. Not only one, but more dancing ladies. How about a cat? Do you have pet cat at home? Oh yes, almost every home has a pet cat. Now, tell me if the following pictures or images is real or may believe. Picture of a horse. Yes, it's a real or fuck. Picture of a horse with rainbow hair. Yes, it's make believe or not fuck. A dancing lion. Yes, it's make believe or non fuck. To know more about our lesson today, it's time to open your modules on page 6. Here's the directions. Study the pictures, put a check if it shows real or fact, and cross mark if it is make-believe or non-fact. I repeat, study the pictures, put a check if it shows real or fact, and cross mark if it is a make-believe or non-fact. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Are you done? Time to check your answers. For number one picture, the answer is check. Number two, cross mark. Number three, cross mark. Number four, check. Number five, cross mark. Number six, check. And number seven, cross mark. Number eight, check. Number nine, check. And number ten, check. What is your score? How many you answered correctly? I hope you got them all. Later, we will again have a short quiz. 
Don't worry, you will answer it correctly if you listen attentively to our discussion. Now, may I know who got the highest scores? Congratulations! For those who got low scores, don't worry, you will have a second chance. Just hold on. Are you ready? The world is experiencing a pandemic right now which stops everything and turn our lives in a difficult situation. Now, get your modules in English and turn it on page 7. Find the words related to the current issues in our environment on the given crossword puzzle below. There are five words in all. Good luck! Are you done? Okay, let's check your answers. Did you see or find the following words? Distancing, pandemic, COVID, vaccine, quarantine. Very good. Do you know what is COVID-19? Why it is called pandemic? What we can, cannot, should not do during COVID-19. Read the selections on page 8 under what's in on your module and be able to answer the questions about it. Okay, let's read all together. COVID-19 pandemic, what we can, cannot, should not do by Joanna B. Ormatan. Coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 is an illness caused by a novel coronavirus now called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, Coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2, which was first identified amid an outbreak of respiratory illness cases in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, China, is transmitted chiefly by contact with infectious material such as respiratory droplets or with objects or surfaces contaminated by the causative virus and is characterized especially by fever, cough, and shortness of breath and may progress to pneumonia and respiratory failure. It was initially reported to the World Health Organization or WHO on December 31, 2019. On January 30, 2020, the WHO declared COVID-19 outbreak, a global health emergency. On March 11, 2020, the WHO declared COVID-19 a global pandemic because of the cited alarming spread of the disease which killed thousands of people worldwide and the slow response of many nations to try to contain it. At this time, there are no specific vaccines or treatments for COVID-19. However, we can prevent and slow down its transmission if we are well informed about the COVID-19 virus the disease it causes and how it spreads. We can protect ourselves by washing properly our hands regularly, using alcohol-based rub frequently, not touching our face, sneezing or coughing into a flexed elbow or tissue, boost our immune system, practice social distancing, wear face mask and stay home. We can have more precious time with our family. Because of this pandemic, we are quarantined in our homes. Children and grandparents cannot go outside. We cannot attend mass gatherings like parties, going to church and malls. Elders cannot go to the market or groceries without using their face mask. We cannot hug, kiss, or handshake our friends and loved ones. We cannot contain the spread of the virus. How we wish? That this is just a nightmare. If we walk up, it stops or gone. Maybe God can send an 
angel from heaven to wipe away the virus. Even superheroes cannot fight this pandemic, nor fairies cannot do magic, neither magicians cannot do a trick. Nevertheless, we should not insist to do things we usually do. We should not do our own laws instead abide with what we are supposed to do. We should not keep on complaining, blaming, and reclaiming. COVID-19 has robbed us of people we love. Lives and livelihoods shaken the foundation of our world, threatens to tear the fabric of international cooperation, but it reminded us that for all our differences, we are one human race and we are stronger together. Now, more than ever, we need a healthier life, a safer community, a cleaner environment, and a fairer government. On number one question, what is coronavirus? Answer, coronavirus is an illness caused by novel coronavirus. Number two, what is the term for novel coronavirus? Answer, SARS-CoV-2. Number three, when and where did it originate? Answer, December 31, 2019 in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, China. Number four, how it is being transmitted? Through contact with infectious people or objects. Number five, when and why it was declared pandemic? March 11, 2020, because it killed thousands of people worldwide. Can you still follow? Okay, number six. Answer, stay at home. Number seven, avoid crowded places. Number eight, physical contact with infected person. Number nine, yes, to stop the spread of the virus. And number ten, yes. Did you get them right? Congratulations! Selection we read, answer activity 2 is still under what is it on page 9 of your module. Here is the directions. Read the sentence carefully. Fill in the blanks with the correct words based from the selection you have read. I repeat. Read the sentence carefully. Fill in the blanks with the correct words based from the selections you have read. Number 1 is done for you. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. This is five items only, and I hope you can do it right away. Okay, let's check your answers. We'll begin with number two since number one has already the answer. Number two answer, global pandemic. Number three, superheroes, fairies. Number four, human race. Number five, healthier. I hope you got it right. But if you don't, don't worry. You will still have a second chance if you listen attentively in our lesson today. Alright, take a deep breath, relax, we'll be back after this reminder.
We're back and still, you're listening to your school on the air program with your teacher, Teacher Flores Minda Aranyeses. As I've said earlier, our lesson for today is to identify real or make-believe, fact or non-fact images. I repeat, our lesson for today is to identify real or make-believe, fact or non-fact images. This time, turn your modules on page 10 under what's more. Here is the directions. Below are sentences with corresponding pictures. Read each sentence carefully. Write R if the sentence is real, M if it is make-believe, F if it is fact, and N if it is a non-fact. Ready? Go! Did you answer correctly? Let's find out. Number one, the pancake can run very fast. The answer is M, make believe. Number two, a globe is a spherical representation of the earth. Answer, F or fact. Number three, Vaughn flies high with his pet dragon. Answer, M or make believe. Number four, a doctor is a frontliner during the pandemic. Answer, R or real. And number five, this pineapple tastes sweet. Answer, N or non fact. Congratulations, you did it! Now, what are real or fact and make believe or non fact images? Real images are actually existing or happening. It is not imaginary, not fake nor artificial, while make-believe are imaginary, not real and it could not happen. Fact are actual things that exist and is probable, observable, and measurable, while not fact are something that is presented as a fact but is not factual, that is not founded on proof or certainty. I repeat, real images are actually existing or happening. It is not imaginary, not fake nor artificial, while make-believe are imaginary, not real and it could not happen. And fact are actual thing that exists and is probable, observable, and measurable, while not fact are something that is presented as a fact but is not factual, that is not founded on proof or certainty. Did you understand our lesson, children? What are real or fact images again? Real images are actually existing or happening. It's not imaginary, not fake nor artificial. Fact are actual thing that exists and is probable, observable, and measurable. What about make-believe or non-fact images? Make-believe are imaginary, not real, and it could not happen in real life. Non-fact are something that is presented as a fact but is not factual, that is not founded on proof or certainty. This time, let's have an activity to check if you really understand our lesson. Turn your module on pages 11 and 12. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Ready? Happy working! Now, let's check your answers. Let's start 
on page 11. What I can do? Number one answer is F. Number two, T. Number three, T. Number four, F. Number five, F. Number six, F. Number seven, F. Number eight, T. Number nine, T. And number ten, T. Let's proceed to page 12, the assessment part. This part of your module will assess what you have learned to know if you are ready to continue the next module or not. If you got 6 to 10, you may continue. 0 to 5, you need to relearn the module. Alright, let's check your answers. Number 1, answer is B. Number 2, C. Number 3, A. Number 4, D. And number 5, C. Did you get it right? Good job! For your assignment, kindly open your module on page 13 and 14 and answer the additional activity 1 and activity 2. If you have some questions and clarification, please feel free to send your questions on my messenger or text me or call me, okay? Good luck kids and don't forget to drop your answer sheet on the designated drop box provided in your own place. That's it for today children for our class English 6. If you have any questions on your assignment, please do not hesitate to ask some help from your mama, papa, ate, kuya on how to do it. If you need more support, call me on my smart number. Bye now. See you on next RBI session. Always remember to practice personal hygiene at all times. Together, we can do it. This has been your teacher on the air. Teacher Flores Minda Aranyeses saying, Tulong-tulong tayong kawenyo para sa pagsulong ng edukalidad. In behalf of DepEd Kauai City Division, this is Teacher Flores Minda Aranyeses saying, God bless Kauai City Division and God bless everyone. Bye!